Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with a, another 10 Car Tuesday episode. And today, uh, I got a pretty sweet one for you. Uh, this is going to be all pretty much like uh, late 80s, early 90s cars. Um, they're all uh, European models and there's some really cool Hot Wheels in here that haven't been released uh, all but a handful of times, at least the majority of them. Starting with this Renault 5 Turbo. Really cool. In this blue, it is on a blue card. It is an international card, which is why the blue card does not have a number on it. There's a look at the back of the card. We'll go ahead and we're going to open it. going to go ahead and zoom in and take a look at the car. Let's see if I can get this camera to go a little better here. There we go. All right. So very cool little European car. This particular casting was really only released twice. And actually, this is the Canadian. Is From what I, my research, what I found out, this was only available in Canada, apparently. It was the Canadian release of this. There was a rest of world, or I guess international release of it that was white. And is pretty cool too, but this is definitely a cool little Hot Wheel. Really, really awesome. You got your basic wheels. Well, it's got sort of lens detail for the headlights, but that is part of the windshield. This one does have a plastic base, metal body. Uh, tan interior and it's just overall a very cool little Hot Wheel and not a very common one because they just didn't release many of these. Uh, but you can find these on eBay um, still somewhat uh, cheap. They're actually not that expensive. Less than a super treasure hunt for sure. And very cool. And I would suggest probably picking one of these up if you're if you like collecting Hot Wheels a lot from this era, just because I think eventually these might be um, these might be kind of tough ones to come by. So very cool little car, and that is car number one for Ten Car Tuesday. Car number two we're going to take a look at is the Mercedes SL. This is it right here. Uh, this particular one came out in 1991. This is the one that did come out in 1991, the variation of it. Uh, this one's also on an international card, so there's no number. On it. Pretty interesting. So this one is almost like a half plastic car. The, the body is metal. The base is plastic, and the base actually makes up the bottom half of the car. Interesting little convertible. This with uh, the ultra hot wheels, chrome finish, and yeah, the body is metal, metal with a chrome finish. Uh, so this 1991 mainline, it came out twice in the 1999 one, uh, <clears throat> 1991 mainline. mainline. Sorry, it was last seen in the 2003 mainline, and they were actually released this this car. They released a bunch. Both of these Mercedes, I'm going to show you, they actually released a lot of variations of it. So this is one of those. This was the first one out with these ultra hot wheels. I believe the other one that was available on a blue card was the same car, and it had uh, black wall wheels, basic wheels. So lots of different ver variations of this. If you ever wanted to collect this casting, there's a lot of them out there. But I don't think anyone is particularly that hard to get. Um, it was a 1997 treasure hunt. Maybe that would be the more difficult one. But here it is. All right. Now, next, we've got another Mercedes. This is the Mercedes 380 SEL. Right here on a blue card, collector number two. Uh, 229. Uh, this particular one is from 1993. And how appropriate with these flashy fluorescent colors. Got some flaking from the bottom rivet, which is normal. It's kind of uh, dark tinted windows. Uh, it's got a metal base, metal body, 
Ultra Hot Wheels. Beautiful pink and sparkly color. Uh, this one, this car ex itself has been out since 1982. Notably, it's had a lot of releases. It's got 1983, it was in the Real Riders um, series for 1983. They f this was a final run in 1999, so they don't make any more, and they're not going to since 1999. And there's a bunch of releases in between. Kind of a cool casting. Um, these are kind of neat to collect. There's a lot of different variations of them. And uh, if you like Mercedes-Benz vehicles maybe this is a casting that you would be interested in collecting i think it's always been all metal i don't think they ever released a version of it with a plastic base as far as i know i could be completely wrong but i think it's always been all metal and it's kind of an interesting little little one it's got only one side view mirror it's pretty cool and uh just as a neat little mercedes all right so that's it for that one. Now we're going to get into more uncommon stuff again here. Starting with this Peugeot 205. This is on a blue card, number 105. This particular variation is from 1989. This car was not released a whole bunch. There were two variations of it in 1989, one with a slightly different uh, tampo scheme, which I think was an international only release or a non-US release. This was the U.S. release, as far as I know. So it came out in 1989, and then it had two variations in 1996, which I've got a 96 one to show you, too. So this one has an opening part. It's kind of a unique casting. It's quite large to start with. Basic wheels, metal body, metal base. It's heavy. Uh, this one is made in Malaysia. It's a one-rivet casting, but it's got this moving part in the back that lifts up so you can see the motor back there and uh, all in all it's pretty neat not really proportionately correct I don't think to the real car it looks a little out of scale and it's very large and but very interesting Hot Wheel for sure so that's the Peugeot 205 and then I've got another variation of it right here this one is from 1996. This is one of the two variations available in 96. So this car has only been released for a total of four variations in only two years it was, it was put into production. So here it is, the Peugeot 205. Definitely interesting color combination here. We got uh, blue and purple and orange on the base. I believe the, the variation for this one for this year was a base variation. And I think the base was like a gray or something like that on the other one. There you go. Opening it up again. Kind of a neat little rally car. Cool to add both of these into the collection. And uh, they are definitely kind of neat. And just an oddball Hot Wheels since there's only four different variations of it. It was only basically released twice. <clears throat> so there is those two. Sticking with Peugeot, here is another one. This is the Peugeot 405, and this one was not released very much either. Uh, it had two variations in 1991. This is one of the variations that you're looking at. The other one had more of like a rally type graphic on it. Um, and this one was the basic one, it just was black and red. Uh, this was an international release. It's on an international card. 1991 again came out in. And actually this was released four different years. I've got uh, this one here and then I've got one from 1996 to show you. Cool little casting though. It is a metal body, plastic base. Uh, the interior part is red and makes up part of the bumpers and grill in this bottom part here. And and then it also has lens detail for the headlights, which is part of the window piece. All in all, a really cool little car for sure. And then this is the 1996 release. It was also released in 95 and in 97. This one's from 96. And I believe it also had two variations in 96. I'm not sure what the other variation was besides this dark green one. 
I don't remember. But here is the dark green one. Different wheels, but same construction. Ooh. We have an error. Or is that just too wide of an axle? What's going on here? The wheels is sticking out way more. Oh, that's just the way the wheel is constructed, it looks like, compared to this one. Uh, see how that one sits inside like that of the base? I don't know if you can see that real well. This wheel, the way this wheel is constructed, it's stuck to the outside, so the wheels stick out quite a bit. That's interesting. Definitely prefer that one. But a cool Hot Wheel indeed, and just not something that you see every day. At least not something that I come across every day in Hot Wheels. This black one is definitely really cool. I definitely dig that one. Just a cool little car for sure. So there is number six and number seven. Number eight, we've got the BMW 323. That is this one right here. Number 150 on a blue card. And pull it off the package. This is a cool one. This is a pretty common one, I think, to find. The 323, there is a rare variation of this that came out that same year, um, I think. And I don't know. I think... It said rare variation with BMW on the rear plate. Hmm. This one does have BMW on the rear plate, but I think the rare variation did not have this M3 Tampo. I'm not sure, and I am definitely going to have to look into that now because I didn't realize this one actually had that BMW right on the rear plate. So that's interesting. Someone that knows a lot about this era of Hot Wheels, please do comment on this video and let me know if this is the rare variation of it or not. Uh, this one was released in 1990 with those two different variations. Uh, it also was released in 1990 in the California Customs, 91 mainline, 92 mainline, and 93 tattoo machines. And then it was done, not to be seen again. It is kind of a neat little casting though. This one's got a metal body, plastic base, ultra hot wheels, uh, chrome piece for the grill that is actually not part of anything else it's just it's a standalone piece and then we got a windshield piece and of course the interior piece kind of a cool little car not bad at all and then next up we have two cars left and they're both bmw 850i's however they are both different castings so we're going to start with this one Here's this one, number 149. This one is the 1991 mainline, and that is when this casting debuted in 1991. And here it is. Here's your BMW 850i. 91 mainline. This one came out a few times. 92 Getty release, Getty gas station promo. 93 mainline, a couple variations there. A couple in 94, a couple in 95. 97, it was in a five pack. 99 mainline, 2000 mainline, and then 2001, it received the final run treatment from Mattel. So, these will never be released again. This tooling will never be used. Apparently, the tooling is destroyed. Uh, but here it is on Ultra Hot Wheels. It has a metal body. It has a plastic base. Tan interior, which makes up part of the rear. Uh, I guess light assembly and that's pretty much it it's got sunroof pretty basic little car with your wacky kind of typical early 90s graphics with the uh, kind of fluorescent fluorescent colors wacky color combinations that they were doing at that time very period correct and then lastly we're going to take a look at this one which is i think a bit cooler this is the bmw 850i Collector number 498. This is the one that came out in 1996, I believe. Yes, I think it was 1996. What is it? Yeah, 90, 95 is the copyright date. So 1996. And 
let's see if you can figure out one thing about it right away. So first of all, just by looking at it through the package, it's got some front detail and some rear detail, which is pretty cool. And it's also got cut out open doors, so the doors are going to open on it. And let's see here. If you're familiar with what the, was going on in 1996, you probably know already what this is. If you're not, maybe you don't. But this is actually, so it's got a plastic base. This is actually a Corgi tooling. So this is when Hot Wheels, I guess, must have bought all the toolings from Corgi. And they started releasing them in the Hot Wheels lineup under the Hot Wheels name. So it's got opening doors. It's got a fair amount of detail. Uh, tail lights look pretty good. I mean, the detail up the up front doesn't look that fantastic, but the detail on the back looks pretty good. Uh, the fact that the opening doors open and shut quite well. The silver color is pretty nice. Uh, this was only released a handful of times, 1991. It was an Auto City release, which was like Hot Wheels, but still had like the Corgi style wheels. And then 96 Mainline, 96 FIO Schwartz set, and then 97 it was in a five pack, and 90, another 97 it was in a Street Racer series, which I'm not sure what that was about. Um, but kind of a neat little tooling. Some of the Corgi toolings are kind of cool. And I think this is a pretty cool Hot Wheel. Very cool. So I, I, I don't know. I like it better than this one. Mostly because, I guess, the silver color and the fact it's got some details on it. But overall, the casting, I think, looks a little bit more realistic. The tooling does itself. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. That's all 10, 10 cars. Just a quick little recap. We have these two Beamers here. We have this Beamer. Pretty cool with that BMW license plate. Going to have to look into that. And then uh, some Peugeots. These two. And then these two. Kind of a cool tooling. And let's see here. Then we had uh, some Mercedes. Crazy pink one here. Chrome one. And then this really cool Renault. And I would say that probably out of these cars that I've shown today, the Renault is my favorite. That's definitely my favorite. You guys let me know what your favorite is. And I would say a close second to this Renault is going to be this Peugeot right here but all in all some really cool cars today and glad to get these things loose and add them to the permanent collection all right guys so thank you very much for watching another episode of 10 car Tuesday thank you very much again and have yourself a great day